on a tiny fraction of the video included a, a snapshot of uh, the BBC program so uh, there was a copyright issue so I've had to uh, delete it <laughs> delete the copyright bit and redo it <laughs> well I just bought myself a new TV a sun a Samsung QLED Q60R Before I, I set it up, I decided I'd go on YouTube find out a little bit more about this thing. Well, I couldn't understand what they were talking about, these so-called experts. The cursors whizzing about the screen, clicking on this box and that box, and using terms that I just never heard of. I mean, I watched one video for about two minutes before I realised he must have speak in English. So I thought, well, that was the. So I thought there's obviously a need for a video for people like me, technically illiterate. And that's probably why. That's probably why it's so long. So those of you who are technically illiterate, this is not for you. Ignore it. Well, this is the new telly, <laughs> which I've just picked up in its box. I'll, uh, I'll get it out and uh, and set the thing up and video it while I do it. <laughs> and see how we get on. There are bits of information on the upside of the box. It tells you here. Before I uh, set about pulling it, <laughs> pulling this box to bits. And then it tells you how far a feet how far apart the feet are, which is what, 80 centimetres, and he just makes the ones. Well, that's the first problem for me. <laughs> My current TV table isn't wide enough. It's three centimetres short. It's a bit of a nuisance. Additional expense, a new TV table. Although you could be, you could hang it on the wall, but you need a again. You've got to b buy a separate wall mount if you're going to do that. Oh, well, that's a nuisance. Oh, I'll just set it up on the floor. And on this side of the box, it says "Do not open here." Right. Oh, well, fair enough. And. Uh, it also tells you which is the front of the telly before you take it out. On the, on the outside of the box, on the front, you also get all this information, whatever it might mean. HDR10+, plus 4K, it works with Alexa if you've got one of them works with Google Assistant and it works with Apple AirPlay and it has an HDMI multimedia interface I'm very keen on emphasising this also, so have to be careful not to do that the accessory kit and these are the feet a colour coded blue one and yellow. I suspect one's for the left and one's to the right. And you also get a uh, a quick setup guide 
which I'm going to need. <laughs> so now I'll slide the telly out of the box while it's lying flat on the floor, face down. Well, there it is, it's out of the box, face down on the carpet. Let's take this plastic cover off. Well, there's the back of the machine. So let's see where all these bits are. It's got a USB connection. It's got two USB connections, but they're different. Uh, they're different. Digital audio out. HDMI in. HDMI in. HDMI in. HDMI in. So it's got four of them. It's got a LAN connection. Satellite antenna, satellite main, and the aerial, I assume. So that will discover what all these are as we, uh, as we set this thing up and look at the instructions. And there are four holes on the back, which I'm assuming are for the wall mounting. And that's the uh, input for the mains cable. These are for the leg attachments. A big L there for left, one assumes. And this one, one assumes, will say R for right. Which it does. Well, let's put the legs on it and stand it up. So, there are the legs. And you get uh, what look like cable clips, two cable clips and four screws, or four little bolts. They, have a, they look like they have a Phillips head on. So I've got to get one of, one of those screwdrivers and, uh, and attach the legs. And if you look on the legs, you'll see that one is marked left. And it's marked right. It's pretty obvious that uh, you can't screw these legs on while the telly's lying flat on the floor. So I just need to raise it and put something soft underneath so I don't damage the screen. So we can get some cushions. That seems all right. I should be able to get the legs on now. Well, on the top of the leg is this little slot. And it... Uh, It slots on top of this here, so there's no way you can get the legs mixed up. <laughs> so you have to slide it in so that little slot fits on that sort of little tag there. This is, there we are, that's it. Now just put the screws in. So that's the legs fitted. Just make sure tight, but not over tight. You don't want to cracking anything. Now let's we'll stand it up and have a look at it. All the way around, it's got this uh, sticky plastic. Right, there it is in all its glory. Let's have a look in this uh, accessories <laughs> kit and see what there is inside there. So I've carefully uh, unwrapped the uh, accessories pack. 
Be careful that it uh, didn't damage any of the packing, just on the off chance that when this is all set up there's a, a fault with it and it all has to go back. So that's the registration for the one year warranty. This is the various countries contact information. This is the uh, regulatory compliance statements. This is the user manual. This is if you want to enhance the get theatre sound with a Samsung sound bar, which is obviously an extra. And this is uh, all the connect information. which we've already looked at. And these are the television controls, obviously. There's two of them. I don't know why, we haven't felt them let out yet. <laughs> you can mains cable. Two sets of batteries. I'm assuming that they're for the TV controls. And this rather strange thing. Common interface. And I'm assuming that these are for the wall mount, if you're going to mount it on a wall. I, I noticed on the back of the telly, this thing... And I'm assuming that this goes in there. Need to have a look at the instructions before we do anything with that. Well, let's have a look at the uh, the quick setup guide. Get down to the nitty gritty now. Oh, well, it's not about setting up the television, it's about unpacking it and attaching the legs and what you get with it and there's uh, one of these for each different size television and they obviously see it as a, a two man job There it shows you how to attach the legs, which I've already looked at. See how you sort of slide them in. Little diagram showing you how the legs should look once you've got them attached. That's right, that's wrong. This diagram. So you must have taken that tape off. <laughs> I mean, you must hold it like that. You have to hold it like that. When you're lifting it about. And then this shows you how the, uh, the clips are attached. The cable, the cable clips. And the cable runs down. It's clipped behind the leg, so you can't see it dangling down behind the TV. And also, on the back of the TV are these little grooves which you can press the cable into, leading it down to the uh, cable tie. And then put the cable, clip the cable tie onto the leg. So the next thing is to uh, get this television to work. 
which I thought was in this setup menu, but it's not. Uh, so that was obviously going to involve the user manual. So I'll sit and peruse that for a while before I do anything which uh, which may end up with complications. Well, let's just have a look through this user manual, just look at the various headings, see what there is inside here. user manual and an e-manual learning the e-manuals assistance functions features of the new TV e-manual oh it's got this voice control Bixby that'll be interesting safety instructions And then the various contents. Next in the box, assembling the telly, mounting it on the wall, which uh, I'm not going to do. The TV control stick, I don't know what that is. Remote control. It seems to have a million buttons. <laughs> Let me put the batteries in. The, the Samsung Smart Remote. Well, that's what that second thing was. Tells you all about the buttons on there. Doesn't seem to have as many buttons as that. Then, Pairing the TV to the Samsung Smart Remote. Controlling external devices. Performing the initial setup. Hmm, I'll get round to that in a minute. And then connecting devices to your telly. Connecting to the internet, wireless connection, network connection, selecting connected devices, in other words, how you, once they're connected up, how you call them up and use them. And uh, very important, troubleshooting and maintenance. Eco sensor and screen brightness and then all the various specs. And environmental considerations. <laughs> various licenses which you've got. Card. Oh, there we are. Well, I shove the batteries in these uh, TV controllers and uh, plug it in 
and switch it on and see what happens. There's a, there's a little arrow on the back of this thing. So we'll just push that with it to access it. And uh, it obviously takes the larger of the uh, two sets of batteries. I can see nothing about this thing in the manual. And I'm assuming that this thing fits in there according to those instructions there. I'll take the cover off and have a look. So connect two after one and press the common interface card adapter again. So these bits obviously go into those two holes there. And then just press it in. So, put those two little prongs in there and press that, press that until it clicks. That'll do it. Well, after all that, it's crunch time. Switching it on. I'll put the camera in front of the TV and we'll see, see what appears on the screen. Although what appears on the screen, of course, would be... Uh, it won't be quite as clear as this. You can tend to get that interference. So I've turned it on at the mains. Oh. And press the start button on the TV controller. Says, oh. Download the Smart Things app on your phone to start the TV setup. Well, I don't have a phone that will do that. So, what happens now? Ah, press right to set up your TV with the remote. Press that. Now I'm whirring at the top. Press right. Select your country. United Kingdom. Yeah. How do you select it? Next. Enter a pin. There's numbers on the bottom. Connect the aerial and your devices to your TV. Turn on all connected devices. Make sure there are no obstacles in front of the devices. Right. Let's connect the aerial. So, the aerial is now connected and the DVD player is now connected. And it says next. Click this on the right. Select each item and choose the connection. I assume it's a terrestrial aerial. Let's click next. I'll do without. Just go to, we'll skip that.
first word. What's the first word? How will you decide that? Where do you get that from? <laughs> oh. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe it's on the back of the router. Let's go and have a look. Yeah. The password's on the back of the router. Ooh, successful. I agree to all. Click that. Click OK. No, I don't remember. <laughs> Create an account. Log into my Samsung account. Sign into my account. Sign into my account. Change account now. Sign into my Samsung account. Sign into my Samsung account. Access my account with my voice. Switch to my account with my voice. Voice log into my Samsung account. Well, that's successfully created or not. <laughs>
Seems to be all right. Well, that G mail doesn't seem to be right. Paintings, A, animals, B, gods, C, flowers. You've put animals. As the question came up, I thought animals before the answers came up. Correct answer is got to be. Facts and detail. And I think at a time like this, the public of well, you just mess about with the uh, that this is really complicated with these two remotes. Let's <laughs> see what comes up. <laughs> it's probably going to take weeks just to see how. Take the public into your confidence. You have to explain. And the best answer on the board, uh, probably the, the greatest men's double partnership of all time, are Mike and Bob Bryan. Dense and small, x ray, you're not too far away from it, and radio waves, you can be as far as you want. The correct answer is. Well, there we are, it's all done. It's, been, it's a bit of a mess about, particularly if you don't know that your uh, internet password is on the back of the router. Uh, I think now it's just a case of messing about with these two uh, TV controls. And see what happens. It's probably going to take <laughs> take weeks to suss it out altogether. But uh, the main part's been done. I just need to go and buy a new TV table that this blooming thing fits on. <laughs> I wasn't banking for that. Well, let's have a look at it and see what it's like from the side. And then just move it round to the other side, see, the, see what effect it has. That's it looking straight on. Well, that doesn't look bad at all, no matter where you're sitting. Once I uh, got the tally set up, I then tried connecting a DVD player and a PC to the, uh, to the tally with uh, HDMI leads and uh, it wouldn't connect. There was no signal, which I can uh, I'll demonstrate what happened. So this is what came up. There was no signal from the uh, PC to the telly through this HDMI cable. So if I click this source It's a piece. <laughs> and by just moving this uh, right arrow, I went across to this bit here, the connection guy, and pressed that. And this is what you get. So I wanted to know, so 
Just press the down arrow to PC and click OK as it were. Just put it in the middle. And it tells you well, what you need to do there. But I was having trouble with this. So I moved it down to troubleshooting. Press the button. HDMI 1. Select the external device. Well, it's, I'd connected it to the HDMI 1 connection on the back of the telly. So I've checked the connections. They're both firmly connected and I press that. I've done all that and I still probably didn't solve the problem so click on no and then this thing tests the cable. Start the test and it runs for a couple of minutes. I'll just switch this video off while that's doing that come back to it when it's finished <laughs> and disappeared there's a problem with the HDMI cable <laughs> so I'll change the HDMI cable for another one and see what we get so I'll, uh, I'll close that Back to the now signal and a load of app things on the bottom. So to get back to that source thing on the top of your this TV control it says there source. If I press that, let's see what happens. back to this source business so let me let me see two So I'll go to the connection guide again. And now come down to PC again. And then connect this new HDMI lead. So having plugged it in. PC is connected and that's what's on the PC screen well that's really pleasing well amazing what these things will do I'm sure they will connect wirelessly But uh, we'll, we'll settle for that for now. <laughs> One of the downsides of uh, Samsung televisions is that they don't have the free view option, which most of the major manufacturers do. And I have one of these, a Panasonic DVD HDD recorder. Um, which I'm very familiar with and the like and of course it's for free view and I need to connect this to this Samsung QLED TV in order to operate it and to do that I need three leads This one, let's just have a look at the ends there. 
This one connects the, the aerial socket in the wall to the DVD recorder. This one connects the DVD recorder to the television. As does this HDMI lead. It's a sort of final connection from the DVD recorder to the TV. So let's uh, let's connect it up and see what we get. So this is the uh, Panasonic machine. Let's have a look on the back. These are the uh, bits we're concerned with. RF in, RF out. There's all these other various connections which you could use. And this one, the uh, HDMI AV out. So they're the three things we're concerned with. Fun there. And of course, that's just the, uh, the mains connection going in there. So I uh, connect this to the wall socket, which leads to my aerial. And uh, I connect the other end to the DVD recorder. So this goes into the RF in socket. Yeah. So I take the other lead, so it's just got different ends on, and you can see that it's this one, which connects to there. So let's connect that. And this end goes into the back of the television. So these are all the inputs for the TV and right at the very bottom is the connection which I'm looking for. So I put the other end of this lead into there. So I put that into there. And the only thing remaining to connect is the HDMI lead. So I just make sure I've got it aligned properly. And I put that into there. Very carefully. So I don't damage anything. Mm -hmm. And the other end I connect to one of the HDMI inputs on the uh, on the TV. So when I switch it on I get this hello <laughs> and it takes a while to as it were become fully operational. It's not instant. So you just wait for this hello to disappear. There we are. I sit on. Now switch the television on. So the TV is on and the uh, recorder is on. Now, let's just see if I can record using this and the TV screen. So this, this is the uh, DVD recorder control. I just, if I want to record a program I can bring up Freeview by pressing this green button here. Zilch. <laughs> so I need to know if it's connected to the TV. So I take my TV controller, press this home button here. Get that on the television. 
and I need to go to these buttons at the end so I press this going left you can see these things all move along and I go to source you can see there that source is highlighted so I press the middle bit and there you can see all the sources have come up TV and so on and this thing here which is unknown so if I press that button there and move along to unknown Press that middle button. It says it is scanning for devices. It's obviously looking for this DVD recorder. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll find it. No device is detected. You can manually set up this device. So let's press the manual. There we are. Universal remote setup. Press start. Now the thing is that this DVD recorder doesn't match any of those things along the bottom. Anyway, let's see if it's uh, if it's working. So if I press return, go back and again. Source. Let me click on. So I'm back to unknown. Now let's see if it's connected up because there's a little tick on the. There's a tick there. A green tick. Is it connected? <laughs> let's switch it on and see. So the tell it on. And the DVD recorder is on. Now, are they, as it were, what they call shaking hands? Are they, are they aware of one another? See how we can find that out. Now, if I want to record a, a program using Freeview, I press this guide here on my DVD controller. Let's see if, what happens there. Oh, bingo. <laughs> what do you know? There it is. Wow, wonderful. So I'll clear that. Back to the telly. There we are. Now, if I press... Let's see, check if it works. So I'll bring up some program which I've already recorded. So this is the, press this direct navigator button here. See what happens. Oh, there they are. Let's have a look at Belgravia. Press the play button. And uh, that's the channel that it's on. It's adverts at the beginning, obviously. Like all of these things. <laughs> Pause button work. Yes, it does. Does the stop button work? 
Yes, it does. Brilliant. So if I press exit, it should be back to the TV screen. And so it is. Well, that's wonderful. That's all I need. If you want to use the uh, TV for pre-recording TV programmes, then uh, it won't do it unless it's connected to the internet. You need something with a large storage capacity, like a, an external hard disk drive, which you can see there, with a USB connection. What kind of USB connection? <laughs> I have no idea. But this has got a blue colour, which signifies something. I'm not a, you'll have to go away and discover that yourself. There's information about that on the uh, e-manual. So I'll switch on the TV and uh, I'll just use this left pointing arrow on the TV controller. Everything moves along and I want to look at settings. And there you'll see on the left hand side E manual. So there we are on E manual. Press the bit in the middle, and there all this comes up. So you get quick guys, just have a quick look at them. There they are, which includes using Bix Bixby. Just go back. Down in the bottom right, you will see using the e manual. Let's just have a look at that. There you are. And you can download a copy of that. And you can view it or you can print it on your PC. I have no doubt. <laughs> it's hundreds of pages. Anyway, let's just go back. The other thing I haven't had a look at is this Bixby, a sort of voice activator. And what I notice with this is that uh, it sometimes just comes on on its own. And when it comes on, uh, the, uh, the sound disappears for a few seconds, which is really irritating. And uh, so I'm going to switch it off. So let's have a look and see, and see how all that's done. Now let's have a look at this Bixby thing. You need this controller here. And at the very top, it has this microphone. That's the thing you need for Bixby. Because I want to turn it off, I need Explore Bixby, is what I need. And let's use Bixby to find Explore Bixby. <laughs> you can find it on the settings, but uh, let's use this. So in order to activate Bixby, I've got to press down on that and hold it down. And that little thing appears at the bottom. Explore Bixby. Oh, didn't understand that. All right, try again. Explore Bixby. There you go. Well. Uh, and you can see Explore Bixby. So I use the TV controller, move along with the little arrows to there, press OK. Now I want to turn off this voice wake up. So I need to find that. Hang on. There we go. Press OK. All set. I turned it off. Oh, good for you, Bixby. Oh, there we are. That'll do us. Let's try something else. Go back to the home page. Yeah. 
Go back. Go back. <laughs> you play with this for hours. Anyway, that's it. Well, if it's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> when I switch this television on today, I can only get some channels and not others. But eventually, <laughs> I managed to solve the problem with the help of the internet. And uh, if you have this trouble, I'll just show you how, how to sort it out. Well, to solve this problem of no signal for certain channels, you press the home button, press the left arrow till you get the settings, OK, and then go down to broadcasting, OK, and right at the top it says auto tuning settings, so press OK on there, it says auto tuning, <laughs> you press that. Press start. This comes up. Mine is an aerial. So I'll press on there. Terrestrial, yes, it is a terrestrial aerial. And then go down to scan at the bottom. Press scan and it starts scanning for channels, which takes a little while, so I'll just switch this off while it's doing that. There we go. And that's it, England. And then just go across to close. So there are all the channels which it has detected. Press close and see if it, I can get all the channels. So press the return button. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Well, it seems to work all right. Excellent. Well, you could play with this thing for hours. <laughs> for as far as I'm concerned, that's as far as I'm going. It's incredibly frustrating. <laughs> There's been a lot of bad language. But if I can do it as a complete technophobe, then anyone can do it. Uh, but uh, you'll get there in the end. Anyway, now it's done. I have to say, it is a spectacular piece of kit. I'm really impressed. Very, very pleased. <laughs> I never complain about flat pack furniture ever again. In the time it's taken to do this, I could have furnished a house. And probably in the time <laughs> it's taken you to watch this. You could have been halfway through a wardrobe. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.